Welcome back to another episode of Teacher Nerds Podcast. I'm Ron Nover, technology teacher, third grade through eighth grade. And I'm Joe DiPaolo, third grade teacher. And today we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, ways you can get money, um, you know, for things in your classroom. You know, we know we have budget cuts coming up. Um, but before we get to that, Joe, let's uh, introduce our opening uh, little segment that we do, uh, two yes and one no way. All right, what's our topic, Ron? Uh, how about TV shows? Okay, I like it. All right. Um, so for me, two yes, I would say uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. And Breaking Bad. And one no way, any of the Housewives shows. Ooh, <laughs> Atlanta Housewives. Come on, Ron, you know you're watching. My two yeses for TV shows, uh, first yes, definitely The Simpsons. been watching The Simpsons nice, since, yeah. since it was on the Tracy Ullman show, yeah, yeah. showing my age. Um, my second yes would have to be a newer show, um, The Goldbergs. Yeah, I love The Goldbergs. Definitely, yeah. you know, two family-oriented shows right there. Yeah. My one no way would probably be Game of Thrones, Ron. Oh, you know what? You're killing me. I, I can't get into it. And maybe it's because I've never watched any of them, but I just, not, nothing's drawn me to watch any of them. And I gotta say, I was the same way. I thought, not into wizards and dragons and anything, and watched a few episodes, and... I think we binge watched most seasons in within you know two months. Okay, and I don't know if you were the one saying it, but someone else was saying that's the way you got to do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. You have to wait binge. week to week. Not here. Um, so you know what? Maybe if I have any downtime this uh, this summer, but right now it's it's my it's my no way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that was uh, two yes, one no way, and let's get into our topic. All right. Well, I think. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of great avenues out there. We went to an ECET that was based for New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Yep. It was in Pennsylvania, and actually, uh, the curriculum coordinator from Tabernacle Barry right. Barry had a had a hand in it, and uh, on in putting it on, he was one of the present not the presenters, but I guess the guy one of the guys behind the coordinator. Yeah, okay, kind of there we go. Coordinators, yeah, for sure. Guy behind the scenes, um, and. You know, they were talking about grants and, and what the Gates Foundation is doing. And right. and then the following year, Tabernacle hosted an ECET event with the help of the Gates Foundation. And I know you didn't necessarily go to right. it. Right, I didn't go to that one. I was there. There was a couple other teachers from Southampton. An administrator was there from Southampton, Mrs. Bertulis, our vice principal. And it was amazing. And and it was all funded through the, the Gates Foundation um, Empatico, which is something else we'll be talking about later, doing an exchange on Empatico uh, will enable you to write a grant. Um, and then there's other things out there like organizations like Donors Choose and, yep. and GoFundMe. Right, um, right. If if things are happening with your budget and things do get cut and, yeah, and you're you're not able to get what you want through those channels, uh, there are other avenues out there to help you give those students the experiences uh, that are going to help them in right. the future. And I know you, you know, like the Empatico, like we had talked about, but I know when you went to that ECT, like that's where you kind of, it like struck you. That's where, that's where it struck a lot of people. And, right. and it was a packed house. Um, and I know they wrote a grant to get two of the classrooms together, Imp which was amazing. Empatico, Empatico actually gives, gives these teachers money to, to, to fly to their partner classrooms. Right. Uh, that was Dr. Collins from Tennessee, and she actually flew with a couple of her students from the amazing. class uh, to Tabernacle, and it was M Michael Dunlea and Stacy Delaney's third grade classroom, and and there wasn't a dry eye in the room. Well, I know, um, yeah, when I saw it at uh, textbook, I mean, okay. I had I had tears rolling down my face, um, felt like an idiot. And and if <laughs> <laughs> see, I was able to keep it together. Uh, my eyes were definitely watering. <laughs> Uh, the, my co-teacher, Kim Bray, she was doing crying for both of us. Okay. She was sitting next to me. And it was great because Michael was sitting up there. Uh, he was, you know, one of the three teachers. And he's smiling because he's looking out there and his response is, that's why I put all these tissues out there because yep. I knew we were going to use them. Yeah, and especially, I think, like today's climate where like, well, you're seeing you know, just hate out there and it's like, okay. This, this little classroom from Tennessee is paired up with this little classroom from Tabernacle. And, and their makeups are night and day. I mean, right. they're, they're totally different. And, and the little girl comes in from Tennessee, and she sees her little friend from Tabernacle um, and meeting in person for the first time, and they're hugging, they're immediately crying, and the little girl turns around, she goes, I don't care what color she is, black, white, purple, brown, I love her just That's the awesome. same. And, and, you know, it's, 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 it's pure, I guess, joy from the right. heart. 
Yeah. Um, so it really was cool to see, and it was all uh, funded by a grant that's through Empatico. So we'll talk about Empatico later, because that's, that's... That's that, probably a whole episode. Whew, of we could yeah. do it. It's, that's a big company. Yeah. And I know, like, you know, we're, we're pretty lucky here. Um, you know, we have the Southampton Township, uh, the, the Star, Star Foundation. The Star Foundation does a lot for us. I mean, I know myself, you know, in technology, I've written a number of grants. I mean, you know, upwards in the, you know, over $50,000 and grants for the lab and equipment that we have and I mean they have been absolutely amazing and that and that would be hard to put into the budget yeah, and, and no, especially no you know maybe over 10 years time no problem but but to not have to wait 10 years right um, the Star Foundation is, is great for a lot that goes on with Southampton yeah and I'm sure there's other um, schools out there that that hopefully have those types of opportunities right. Uh, and so you know what, we'll even, uh, maybe in the show notes, we'll put the address for the Star Foundation if anybody out there wants to ever send a donation. Oh, definitely. Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, and even, I think, just even parent involvement sometimes, you know, putting stuff out there like we need cardboard. I, you know, I know you're doing making, I do a lot of making uh, cardboard. We need some duct tape if, you know, people want to send some stuff in, some old CDs. Or even parent volunteers in, in the fact that when yeah, you are making, exactly. to have those extra hands on in the room. Yeah, you need um, You know, working with third graders, I just saw something on Twitter the other day where I think it was Daily STEM, a uh, great guy to follow if you are into yeah. making. Yep. He, uh, he showed some, some real quick and easy electric box cutter. And I mean, it was like, I would have been a kid on Christmas to have that in the beginning of this year. Right. Because right now I've been using just scissors. Or, you know, if I'm lucky, I, I do plan ahead and bring an exacto knife in right but it's me doing all the cutting and and it's and there are some um there are some really good cardboard saws out there that are plastic um i think oh. make do makes one and I, if i'm if i'm remembering correctly uh, thingiverse has uh, some plans that you can download from make do um, to do 3d printing of some of their products um, so that may be oh, something okay. we have to we have to look into um but again, people out there, you know, if you, if you don't know about, like, Thingiverse, there's, and you have access to a 3D printer, there are some files already created that, you know, you can make some things that, you know, you might not normally uh, be able to put into your budget, and you can actually just 3D print them. So that's, you know, that's a research. So those types of freebies are great to yeah, have. And, my favorite you know, flavor. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say, teachers love freebies. Absolutely. Um, and speaking about freebies, like, we'll be, we'll be having some freebies to throw out there, yeah, right? Absolutely. Teacher nerd so, freebies. Yeah, maybe some stickers, t-shirts, things like that. Empathy sure. cards, who knows?